Hi, I'm Mike McNamara, and in the 21 years I've been reviewing digital cameras, only an elite few contained quantum leaps in photographic technology. Looks like I might have to add two new Sonys to that list. The Sony Alpha SLT A77 and the SLT A65. Both of these HDSLRs contain unique features and capabilities, but are they the perfect camera for advanced shooters and pros? Let's find out by taking a close first look. I'll start with the A77, shown here with the new 16 to 50 millimeter f2.8 constant aperture lens that breaks a price barrier by costing only $600 as part of the camera kit. The A77 is definitely designed for outdoor shooters and pros and features the new Sony 24.3 megapixel Exmor APS-C size sensor, which ups the pixel ante and delivers up to 12 frames per second at the 24.3 megapixel resolution. In addition, it can capture smooth, sharp 60p full HD video, and in both video and still modes, the sensor is image stabilized and works with all compatible lenses. And driving those lenses will be the new 19-point focusing engine, which has a majority of sensitive cross-type sensors. In combination with the translucent mirror technology, this camera should be able to focus and even track objects and faces in video mode, and do it faster than any other SLT model. The new 2.4 million dot OLED viewfinder also boasts amazing speed and quality compared to previous LCD micro displays and overcomes many of those EVF disadvantages. Its sharp image is nearly as large as most full-frame viewfinders. It includes a horizon indicator, and its response time during burst mode is exceptional. Listen carefully and you'll hear the second playback, including the real 12 frame per second shutter sound. And because the viewfinder is electronic, you can access much more data on the screen, select different display modes, and adjust every menu item, shoot video in stealth mode without taking your eye from the viewfinder, and even playback and zoom in on your still images. All of these dramatic improvements to image quality and performance are housed within a tough magnesium alloy reinforced body that includes dozens of weather and dust seals. Even the new 16 to 50 millimeter lens and the optional battery grip have seals, which means the camera should be able to take a dipping and keep on clicking. Unfortunately, my shoes and pants were not weather sealed as the camera did just great and just kept on going. And now that it's dried off, let's check out another great feature. The tilted any way you want it 3 inch LCD monitor on the back, which you have to see in action to appreciate. It can swivel to stay protected against the body or rotate in just about any direction. So you can shoot from the waist, overhead, or even set up a self-portrait in front and view yourself over the camera. Video shooters should note the curved stereo microphone on top behind the pop-up flash where sound from nearly all sides can reach it. There's also a stereo input jack located next to a PC sync connector, plus mini HDMI, remote control, USB ports, and a GPS antenna. The GPS not only adds coordinates to each photo's EXIF data, but can automatically set the camera's time. The A77 also accepts the optional battery grip that extends shooting time and lets you reach all major controls when shooting in the portrait mode. The A65 has more similarities in body design to the older A55. As you can see, it's slightly bigger than the A55, with a larger knurled control dial and slightly larger 3-inch LCD swiveling monitor housing on the back that doesn't have the enormous range of the A77 LCD. But inside, it contains the same new 24.3 megapixel Exmor APS-C sensor and a 2.4 million dot OLED viewfinder. Captures the same 60p Full HD video as the A77, has a great microphone, built-in GPS, a single card slot that accepts both SD and Sony cards, and a battery that's borrowed from the A77 and is the same as the one in the Alpha 850 class. So if you own an Alpha 850 or 900, this might be the best choice for a backup camera as you can share batteries, lenses, and flash units, and it shoots better video. Of course, it's missing the weather seals and ruggedized body of the A77, and only shoots up to 10 frames per second in burst mode. Wait, did I mention you get all of that plus a kit lens for under a grand? 